welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new here, my name is Freya, I upload two videos every week here on my YouTube channel, all things fashion, beauty, lifestyle and home related and I also post daily over on my Instagram account, Freya Farrington 1 for the beauty, fashion, lifestyle and Freya Farrington Home for all the homeware side of things. So if you enjoy this video be sure to give it a like, subscribe for more and without further ado let's get stuck in. So I am filming today a white company dupes and DIYs type video which I have already filmed back in December. Things kind of Christmassy related but there are definitely things in that video that you could have in the house all year round. So I'll leave it linked down below and up here. You guys seem to love it so I am bringing back this video with a part two. I have been shopping, I have found a load more goodies of things that reminded me very much of White Company and I just wanted to share them with you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do want more like this then maybe I can make it more of a series and start doing a lot more of them. This is absolutely no shade on the White Company. It is my number one favourite homeware brand. I absolutely love it. Whenever I'm out and about shopping, I always look at something and think, could I see that in the White Company? And if so, like, it doesn't matter if it's not got the White Company brand on it, if it's a bargain, I will pick it up. In fact, this bed is from the White Company. I get a lot of questions about this bed. Uh, that's where it's from. This is the new White Company white book. It's not that new anymore, but I got it for Christmas and I just flick through, have a look at things. And this has been a real inspiration for me for this video as well. So this, I believe, retails for £30 in stores in the White Company, but you can get it on Amazon for £20, unless they've put the price up since. And if you kind of want that aesthetic, before I got that book, I did this, whereby you sign up online the newsletter and they send you out the brochures. So this is the Christmassy one that they sent out. It's like a little magazine and again filled with loads of new in store items and lots of inspirational pictures and it kind of just looks nice sat out on a coffee table. So there's a little tip for you. Sign up to their newsletters for free and then they send out these little brochures as and when they do them. I think they're seasonally but this is a free item from the White Company. It's not even a dupe. It's an actual White Company freebie. You can't really beat that, but I'm gonna try. The first thing that I wanted to show you are these jute coasters and placemats. On White Company, you can get a set of four coasters for 16 pounds, and then the placemats on there are 16 pounds as well. This one is from Ikea. It's part of the Soray range, and it is four pounds. And then I even found one a lot closer to the White Company dupe in a shop in Manchester called Sostrine Green. I put a picture up on my Instagram stories over my home account when I went in recently, and it's near enough the exact same as the White Company one, except that one was only £3.92. As for the coasters, I picked this set up. There is four in the set and they were 99p from Pound Stretcher. Sticking with the coast mat, no, coast mats? <laughs> Place mats and coasters, I did see the beaded ones. I found a dupe for them. So the beaded place mat on the White Company is £38, I think for a set of two. And the coasters, again, are £16. I feel like they might have reduced them with it being Christmassy stuff. But this I have found in Poundland, the land where everything is almost a pound. And I just think they're so pretty, perfect for Christmas time. And the matching coasters, again, I think the coasters come in a set of two, actually. They've even got like a white company looking ribbon tied around them. So yeah, I thought these were a, a mega steal. As soon as I saw them, I was like, I'm taking them because they are perfect for my white company dupe video. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to a, another dupe which I have found in Lidl. We all know Aldi was renowned for their Jo Malone dupes in terms of candles, room diffusers, and room sprays. So Lidl went one up on them and created the White Company dupe. So I'm sure those of you who shop in Lidl have probably already seen these before, but they have the luxury collection, that's what they call it. And within that collection, they have candles, which this one is in lavender. I think the White Company lavender scent is actually called White Lavender. It smells lovely. I got this one for our bedroom because I quite like using lavender scents in the bedroom. I actually have a White Company pillow spray that I like to spritz on our pillows in the spa collection. 
smells amazing I absolutely love it but again something you can easily dupe I know TK Maxx have a lot of pillow sprays in the lavender scent back to this this one was $3.99 from Lidl and then I also got the pomegranate scent I've got the room spray again $3.99 and the hand lotion I couldn't find a hand wash to this a matching hand wash which is a little bit annoying in terms of the white company prices their room sprays are £16 the reed diffusers which I actually didn't pick one up but they have reed diffusers as well on a white company are £27 or like from 27 and then the candles are like from about 20 pounds so there you have an idea 3.99 an item you're making quite a big saving with these the next thing i duped was the artificial pussy willow branches that they sell now because they are artificial they last forever and therefore they do increase the price a little bit with artificial flowers but on white company i think you get a set of five for about 38 pounds which is pretty steep and I saw in M&S recently they have real pussy willow branches so obviously they do have a shelf life but they were only six pounds however failing that if you did want to go down the artificial route I did spot these in Poundland so this is a new one to Poundland I've never seen this one before and it kind of resembles the pussy willow except the only thing is which is a little bit annoying is the like banding the paper thing along here is green as opposed to brown so had it have been brown I probably would have tried to style it up myself but I'm not really a fan of this green it's not rubbish but it's just for me I do think the white company ones look a lot nicer okay so something that is new to the white company something I've seen recently and with Valentine's Day I know they hyped it up a lot and it is the new rose quartz rollers the skin rollers and also the heart shaped like a contour massager type thing that you use on your skin so the roller retails for £30 and the heart shaped massager is £20 however I have seen a lot of alternatives in TK Maxx. They are about £12.99 for the rollers, so not super cheap. And then I spotted this rose quartz gua sha, they call it, uh, at £5.99. Again, it's that heart shaped. It looks just like the one on the white company. Next up is one of my faves, and you probably will recognise some of these items from my kitchen makeover clean out clear out video that I did recently I bought a load of new La Creuse things and I did actually mention in that video as well that the white company stock the white La Creuse sets I think they also have like the grey ones as well so just to show you for the purpose of this video I have a couple of things here that I've wanted to show you this one very much reminded me of the white company even though I don't think they sell these ones on there which I'm surprised they don't because they're a little heart shaped which is kind of iconic for the white company that heart shape all the exact prices will be in my kitchen clear out video I also got these salt and pepper mills I actually got these for Christmas and they were from Morrison's I think they are still available uh, they were in this sale at £4 each but I know Aldi have them at 4 99 as well and then lastly another one which I found not from La Cruze originally it's Russell Hobbs but these you can find in Home Bargains. I can't remember the exact price of this because I got it so long ago, but I'm guessing it was around about the seven pound mark. And then lastly for kitchenware, this little egg cup is so cute. It's from Home Bargains, and it's just like the Portobello one on White Company, which retail for eight pounds, and these only 59p. They are China as well, so they're quite delicate. But yeah, Home Bargains at 59p. What a bargain. Okay, so sticking with kitchenware, I spotted this in TK Maxx, which reminded me of the glass teapot on the White Company, which retails for £25. This one was only £7.99. It's literally the exact same shape. It's all glass, which I'm a big fan of. Anything all glass and white, for me, it's like instant White Company. So it's originally Tea and Co. Okay, so not usually a section that I would shop on on the white company is the garden section which I didn't realize but they have quite a few things so I had a look and I managed to find a really good dupe for the garden trowel which retails for 18 pounds the garden twine which retails for 15 pounds and then the garden fork at 18 pounds and I actually managed to find this set from home bargains at 7.99 and with it, you pretty much get those exact things. You get the mini fork, the mini trowel, and the garden twine, all for $7.99. Do you get anything else? Yeah, you also get gloves, these gloves. You get plant markers and a pencil, all packed in a wooden tray with rope handles. 
So you get a lot for your money with this. Even the little wooden handles and the shape of the trowel and everything. The twine, it's literally a white company dupe. I actually feel like Home Bargains staff members that work in their offices know that the white company is a good brand to dupe because they get a lot of dupes. You'll have seen in my previous one that I did at Christmas that I spotted a lot of things from Home Bargains. Okay, we have a big item next and it is the marble table on the white company which retails for £250. I have a space downstairs that I've been after a small round side table for of which I loved that one and I managed to find a dupe version in Lidl at just £14.99. They did have two versions, they had this one and then they had one with the black marble top. So I'm going to try it and if I end up styling it up and keeping it, I'll probably put a picture over on my Instagram home account. Middle of Lidl, it's, you know, when it's gone, it's gone. So if you like that and if you maybe like the black marble one as well, £14.99, get it while it's there because they're probably going to go pretty quick. Okay, ginger tea pit stop. Oh. My new La Cruze mug, TK Maxx. The next item I am duping on the White Company is called the Fulbrook Glass Hurricane, which you can put a candle in. I have one very similar, which I actually got from TK Maxx. I don't use it as a glass hurricane for a candle. I, in fact, use it to store all our Nespresso capsules, and I keep this one near our coffee machine. And the actual bottom, the shape of it and everything just reminded me so much of that one on the White Company, so I had to include it and obviously give you an alternative use for it. You don't just have to use it for candles. You could put bath bombs in here from Lush, maybe. You could put any samples that you have. I know I have one in our bathroom, which I call our beauty samples jar, because you can literally see them all, which is what I love about it. And this one from memory was 5 99 but obviously TK Maxx vary a lot, but they have loads of these glass hurricanes. Also, when I say TK Maxx, I'm also referring to HomeSense. I can never remember exactly which one I get them from but they're the same brand. The next thing I'm duping is, I think it's called the Albury Vase. This is by no means a exact dupe. I feel like quite ashamed that I'm showing you this, but just more taken inspiration from that vase with the white kind of ceramic and this sort of natural pot kind of color. I found this one, which I know a few people have. <laughs> I've seen a lot of my friends have this and it's from Primark. I think it was five pounds. So it's kind of small to medium in size. I like to put dried flowers in. These ones are from that brand again, which I mentioned earlier um, in Manchester called Sostrain Grand, Grand, Sostrain Grand. <sighs> I wish I knew how to pronounce that. I need to learn. Let me know if you know how to say it. I've just realised I've not even pointed out the elephant in the room. Doing a white company dupes video and I have an actual white company winter candle burning. <laughs> I love white company so much and I did get quite a few things for Christmas and that is one of them. I, I, I'm just obsessed with the white company. So the next item that I wanted to show you, first little thing I'll show you is actually again from the white company. I picked it up in this sale. I think the reason why it was in the sale was because of the scent, because it is in fir tree, but honestly that doesn't bother me. I love the seasonal scents, the Christmassy ones, the wintery ones are my fave anyway. And they've brought out a new electronic oil diffuser. It at 65 pounds, but I have spotted this one and loads more very similar from TK Maxx. This one was 12.99, I believe, yeah, 12.99. So I'm tempted to give this one a try using the actual fir tree oil, or alternatively, just as a cheaper method, these little Poundland oil wax melt burners. All you do is pop a tea light in there and pop a wax melt on the top, but you can also dilute some of this into water and put it in the top, and it still works the same. It's just not as potent, I don't think, as this would be. Is potent the right word, or is that like, does that have negative connotations? Potent. You can have the white company scent, but have a cheaper way of diffusing the scent. Okay, the next item is actually from the fashion range, which I know I tend to focus on the homeware within this video. Do let me know if you want a full fashion one or at least more fashion dupes from the white company. 
But this was one of the weekend bags, I think they called them, at £98. I actually already have this and I thought that looks just like it. And it's this huge bag from Ikea. So it is actually classed as a laundry bag, I feel, but when I bought this, I actually had it in mind using it as like a weekend bag as well. I have never seen this online, so I do think you'll need to look out for it in stores, and it's called the Spanst, I think, S-P-A-N-S-T bag, laundry bag from Ikea, and I think they were about seven pounds from memory, seven or eight pounds. The penultimate item, I have two items left. This one is a Primark number. It is five pounds. It's one of their bath mats. I actually really rate bath mats from Primark. I've had a few in the past and I do really like them. This one is like double lined and it reminds me of the one on the White Company, which actually is triple lined, but you know, it's a dupe. It's not gonna be exact. It's as close as I could find at such an affordable price. And the one on the White Company is about £22. Bargain price of £5. Okay, the next one just screamed White Company to me. It was duping their Spa Maroc reed diffuser in the like white ceramic pot. I found this one from TK Maxx. I actually have had this burning, or not burning, but it's a re-diffuser, you know, I've had it out for a while. And you can see on the ceramic there, it is kind of embossed with Verbena Lime Basil Sublime and Escapist Diffuser. And this is originally from a brand called Purity Lab. And I think from memory it was $7.99 from TK Maxx. So this looked so like White Company. They actually had several and I'm kind of regretting not buying them all. I did just purchase the one on this occasion, but if I go back and see any more, I will be buying these because they are just like the White Company and they actually smell really nice too. Even when that empties, I'm still gonna just top it up with like my favorite Sephora because I love the aesthetic of it. And that is everything that I picked up. So I hope you enjoyed this White Company dupes video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to watch the one I did previously if you haven't already. Do let me know your comments and thoughts down in the comment section below if you want any more videos like this. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!